Welcome to another solo cast episode of the Lifestylist Podcast. My name is Luke Story, bringing you another banger here. This is number 430, creating the ultimate biohacking clinic or home sanctuary, plus my top therapies. This is part two. Now, if you missed part one, episode 428, I highly recommend that you go back and listen to that before diving into this episode. All of the context for this two-part series is laid out in the intro of 428, which was published last Friday, August 26, 2022. For reference, in part one, we discussed the various types of alternative medicine and biohacking clinics, both as a business model for entrepreneurs, folks looking to integrate some of these leading edge technologies into their homes, and for people interested in finding local businesses where they can experience the various devices and therapies we often cover here on this show. We also spent a great deal of time in part one on the importance of EMF mitigation in healing spaces, whether it be one's home or business. And I also answered some common questions about the differences between brands like FLFE, Leela Quantum, Soma Vedic, Blue Shield, and Biogeometry, and the importance of aesthetics and ambiance in any healing environment. Part one also explored some of my recommended modalities and tech devices for clinical as well as home use scenarios, such as blood irradiation, the harmonic egg, and other similar vibroacoustic and frequency-based healing tools, Uh, sensory deprivation chambers, and the various types of ozone therapies available. Now, in this part two episode, we'll continue to unpack some of my favorite biohacks, which could make for great additions to a clinic or for the more committed healing and high-performance enthusiasts like me, perhaps even your home sanctuary. And before we launch into this uh, tornado of tech here, I want to remind everyone listening that if you have self-disciplined and a commitment to your own health, vitality, and longevity, there are tons of practices that can dramatically improve your life that do not require spending your life savings. It can get really expensive to keep chasing the latest gadgets that carry the promise of getting or keeping you healthy. Your faithful host here has at many times fallen under the illusion that I can tech or supplement myself into health and happiness over the past 25 years on this journey. And listen, I am here to tell you that by far the most radical shifts for me personally have come from lifestyle practices, spiritual and emotional healing, much more so than all of the many products with which I've experimented. And while I'm obviously a massive biohacking tech geek and supplement fanatic, I do my best to be mindful of the habit of looking outside of myself for something out there to fix me. I do what I do because it's, I guess, just in my nature to explore, uh, learn about, and share this type of information. But in all honesty, I believe many of the health conditions we face, whether they be physical or emotional, are rooted in past trauma and a lack of self-love and inner healing. And I don't say that to shame victims of ill health. Uh, Our modern world is literally a biological war zone and far removed from the nutrition and natural environment in which we've evolved to thrive. I mean, if we just observe how far we've drifted from our relationship to the natural world and how inundated we are with toxic pollution, pharmaceutical poison, and fake food, it's no wonder that so many of us are sick. However, our way back to wholeness requires that we um, acknowledge the fact that our bodies and minds are not mechanistic and separate from our emotional core and spiritual self or soul. A reductionist position wherein emotional healing is ignored and replaced with diet, fitness, and biohacking obsessions will likely keep us running in circles, uh, spending all of our money and energy kind of playing whack-a-mole with our various symptoms and conditions. And I share this from direct experience. Our bodies, yours and mine included, are but a reflection of our inner state. So logic dictates that we'd be well served by including emotional and spiritual healing along with any physical protocols we might adopt along the way. So as we go through this, uh, let's not forget how powerful some of the generally free or at least affordable in contrast to the technologies we'll cover here are, such as meditation, uh, prayer and contemplation, breathing techniques, yoga and movement, body work, touch and human connection, therapy and counseling, 12-step groups, church, and other spiritually-centered communities, dedicated time in nature, and forgiveness practices and journaling. And in some cases, for some people, sometimes, plant medicine ceremonies or psychedelic-assisted therapies. Now, that last one deserves a strong caveat, as it's also the method of healing with the highest capacity for downside 
if not approached responsibly and thoughtfully. Now, having said all that, for folks like me who just seem wired to explore all the ways in which one can heal and grow in all capacities, we'll cover some of my favorites here today. In addition to the inner healing practices mentioned, I have continued to experiment with a vast array of alternative and integrative medicine, as well as tech-based therapies. And um, to be honest, I continue to derive massive benefit from their integration. So here in part two, we'll cover the following resources, PMF therapies and devices, hyperbaric oxygen and adaptive contrast training, frequency and energy medicine devices, hydrogen water and inhalation, easy water infusion, saunas and cold therapy, laser treatment, electrical stimulation, hypnagogic and red light therapies, and finally, the importance of clean water and air. Now, heads up, I'm going to blast through a lot of information here, so make sure to check out the show notes, links, and transcripts at lukestory.com slash 430, where we will link to all of the past episodes and websites for everything I cover in this episode. And by the way, quick hack here, you can also find the links that I mentioned here in the show notes on most podcast player apps. So I'm excited to share this information with you. But before we get into this deep dive, I'll invite you to join me for next week's show. We'll be back with another guest episode, number 431, where I chat with the inventors of a water structuring device called Analemma. So if you've enjoyed the many podcasts I've done devoted to water over the past few years, next week's show is definitely going to blow your mind. Really fascinating stuff. And then the following week, man, I am pumped about this one. We host Dr. Gabor Mate in an episode about addiction, trauma, and plant medicine. And that was a huge milestone for me personally as someone who's greatly benefited from Dr. Mate's vast body of work on these topics. And this also relates to what I was speaking of a few moments ago in terms of the emotional and spiritual healing that's necessary in order to be fully healthy and free. So here's what you do to make sure you don't miss the upcoming episodes. Hit subscribe on your podcast app to ensure that all the upcoming episodes hit your download feed. All right, let's get this party started. To begin with, let's take a quick trip into the vast world of PEMF technology or pulsed electromagnetic fields. While this is a man-made EMF, these devices mimic EMF created by the Earth and even the cosmos. So in contrast to the non-native or alien EMF we covered in part one and many past episodes, rather than being harmful, PEMF can be incredibly healing when designed and used properly. And while I'm admittedly not an expert on PEMF by any stretch, it has been studied widely for decades, and just about everyone agrees that it can offer tremendous results for many issues, both chronic and acute. So I'll briefly touch on a few of my favorites here, but it's important to note that the PMF market is vast and I've not yet researched or tested all of the brands out there. My favorites are the ones that I'm going to discuss here, along with brief descriptions of how they differ. In terms of the proven physical benefits of PEMF, I'll direct you to the long form podcast I've done on each of these, wherein those specifics are explored more thoroughly. I've published full-length podcasts on most of the following, which are, again, all linked in the show notes at lukestory.com slash 430. Okay, so when it comes to a powerful and therapeutic PEMF, I'd recommend the Pulse Center's devices. And while they might lack the elegance and sophistication of some of the devices to follow, they really make up for it in power. But it's also important to note that more power isn't always better with PEMF. It does count in this case, though, because the pulse center's uh, most common application is the healing of injuries, tissues, and bones. So pulse centers would be my first choice for injuries, chronic joint pain, and things of this nature. So basically more for acute application versus daily wellness maintenance. Now, while you can adjust the power output with pulse center so that it's not too overwhelming, I tend to like some of the more full-body, subtle PEMF mats to follow for general use. But I have used the Pulse Center's unit to heal a shoulder injury, for example. These devices are very expensive, so in most cases it's better to find, or maybe be, a practitioner who provides access. And I covered this product on episode 212, by the way. The latest and greatest addition to my personal PMF collection is something called the Cloud, spelled with a K, by a company called Centropics. The cloud was created by a PEMF OG and professor named Dr. Wolf Kafka. 
He was the brains behind the creation of another very well-known Mac called the Beamer. I'm sure some of you have tried it or at least heard of it. And I've tried the Beamer a couple of times and I enjoyed it. It relaxed me, felt cool. However, I believe the cloud is more useful and more advanced. Plus, uh, it's about half the price. This stuff can get very expensive, as I said. One very unique feature of the cloud is that the power of the magnetic field, which in this case is measured in microtesla, can be adjusted according to preference or your desired goal. In fact, the cloud is the first matte-style PMF device that can be folded to magnify this microtesla coil power. So, for example, the ones I have at home can be folded into a square, and that makes them deliver up to eight times the intensity to specific body areas. And if I combine the two mats, because they're sold in a set, I can even double that power. It also features five different programs that either you know, relax, balance, or energize you, depending on the settings used. So when it comes to PMF, you got to also know that the waveform is very important, and the cloud has the most complex and unique waveform I've seen yet. Not to get too techy here, but a very basic PEMF will use a waveform called a square wave signal. And this was the case with the first generation of PMF devices in the 1950s. Well, this Dr. Kafka developed the fourth and most recent waveform delivery first in 2019. It's called a folded exponential waveform. This is part of what gives the Centropics cloud mats their versatility and efficacy. So I'm a huge fan of my cloud mats uh, because they, of course, feel great, but also because they run on a rechargeable battery, which means no harmful EMF. That's the thing with a lot of this tech. You have to plug it into the wall, and while it might be good for you, it also floods you with non-native EMF. So I'm always trying to find devices that don't kind of kill their benefits along the way. And the cloud also offers massive portability. So I take my little unit with me on flights, long drives, uh, anytime I need extra recovery support. It's pretty rad and something that could be quite useful in a therapeutic setting as you can easily stack it while a client is either seated or lying down. There's also another popular PMF mat on the market known as the iMRS2000. Now it's similar in function and cost to the Beamer that I mentioned before, but I gotta say I would still prefer the Centropics cloud unit for the reasons I explained. All right, now that we've covered some of the more expensive, uh, fancy PMF devices, let's talk about the most affordable basic PMF mat I've found by Higher Dose. Now, I love this mat because of its affordability and the fact that it also uses infrared heat to heal. So if you're familiar with a biomat, this is similar, but it has the added benefit, without the cost, by the way, of PMF frequencies. We keep the mini higher dose mat here in the house on our sofa, and it's by far, I'm not even kidding here, the fastest way I've found to ease aches and pains. So if I have a sore back or I just want to chill out, I'll crank up this mat, and uh, it actually works quite well and very quickly. In fact, our dog Cookie also loves it as well, as it keeps her warm at night when we crank the AC up in the house. Another thing about the higher dose mat is that in a clinical or a therapeutic setting, it could be awesome to use their longer full-size mat integrated into uh, massage tables or treatment beds. And even though this mat plugs into power, they built it with a converter to limit the EMF or the electric field exposure specifically quite effectively. So the higher dose mat is a great entry-level PMF device. In summary, I think PEMF, or PEMF as some people call it, is a critical component of a healing clinic. And even at home, if you can afford it, there are, as I said, many competing companies in this space. So I've just limited my list here to the ones with which I have experience. Uh, the PEMF industry is also quite competitive. There's a lot of shit talking by different brands about the other brands on their website. So it, it takes quite a bit of research to weed through the information and figure out who's telling the truth and who's uh, going to waste your money if you buy their very expensive devices. So I've done my best here to just kind of lay out a few options. When I started this podcast in 2016, I quickly realized that without sponsors, it was going to be very difficult to keep up with the show. However, when I realized that, I made a promise to myself and to the audience that I would always maintain integrity and never promote any products that I didn't personally use or truly believe in. And I'm super stoked to announce an amazing new product today called Magnesium Breakthrough, which you can find at magnesiumbreakthrough.com. 
Magnesium is the body's master mineral. It's so powerful, it's responsible for over 300 critical reactions, including detoxification, fat metabolism, energy, and even digestion is influenced by the presence of magnesium. But there's two big problems here. Magnesium has been largely missing from the U.S. soil since the 1950s, which explains why it's estimated that up to 80% of the population may be deficient. And most supplements contain only one or two forms of magnesium, when in reality there are at least seven that your body needs and benefits from. Now, if you take this latter fact into consideration, it's just not logical to conclude that 99% of the population is likely deficient in two or more essential forms of magnesium. just doesn't make sense. The good news is, is that when you do get all seven critical forms of magnesium, pretty much every function in your body gets upgraded from your brain to your sleep, pain and inflammation. It all improves and fast. That's why I'm so pumped that my buddies over at Bioptimizers, makers of the industry-leading digestive supplements, have just created Magnesium Breakthrough. Their research team recently formulated what I believe is the ultimate magnesium supplement and easily the best one I've ever seen or experienced with all seven forms of this mineral. And I've taken every magnesium on the market that I've ever heard of, straight up. I mean, I'm obsessed with magnesium especially due to EMF, which is an entirely different conversation. Now, these guys even include trace elements of something called monoatomic magnesium, which helps make all of the other forms more bioavailable. So this is by far the most complete magnesium product ever created. And until or unless someone comes out with a better one, I highly recommend that you give this one a try. Bioptimizers calls this product Magnesium Breakthrough, and they're running a special promotion for you, the listener, right now at magbreakthrough.com slash Luke. That's M-A-G-B-R-E-A-K-T-H-R-O-U-G-H dot com forward slash L-U-K-E, magnesiumbreakthrough.com slash Luke. You can get an additional 10% off the normal package price with the coupon code LUKE10. And here's what's up. The guys that make this product are so brazenly confident that you're going to like it that they will give all your money back if you don't. So with this one simple action, you can reverse magnesium deficiency in all its forms and upgrade the performance of your entire body, including how you look and feel in every possible way. So go to magbreakthrough.com slash Luke, enter the code Luke10 to save 10% off. Next, we'll dive into the realm of frequency or energy medicine technology. Now, the amp coil was my first such device. My mom and I both have one, and this is the tech that my wife, Allison, most often uses in the house. And that says a lot because she's not generally interested in many of the biohacking gadgets that I have laying around the house. Now, the amp coil, like the biocharger to follow, doesn't fit exclusively in the PEMF category, which is why I've included it here. They're sort of hybrids in the PEMF and frequency medicine range. And uh, I would say the amp coil relies more heavily on PEMF than the biocharger. Amp coil was made famous as a solution for Lyme, for which it's most widely known. And I've met many people personally who have healed Lyme using the amp coil. And these are people that have tried everything. And then they got the amp coil and they healed themselves. And I've also heard from a few that report that while it was helpful in general, they were unable to defeat Lyme completely using solely the amp coil. And I think this is probably due to the fact that Lyme is incredibly complex and often brings with it a number of other co-infections and similar issues. So this factor, along with underlying emotional issues and beliefs, could explain why the amp coil is a complete home run for some and merely helpful for others when it comes to Lyme specifically. The amp coil works by combining frequencies, uh, sometimes referred to as Rife frequencies, like those used in Rife machines, which are named after the inventor Royal Rife, along with a magnetic coil or a modified Tesla coil as its carrier. The idea here is to use the magnetic field to drive the frequencies deeper into the body. So every organism, and in fact, every cell in the body carry a signature frequency. When the body is exposed to these various frequencies, all varieties of healing can take place. And as far as Rife machines go, I've used them a few times myself, by the way, but I uh, have too little experience personally to include them in detail here. 
I am, however, a believer in this category of technology in general. So Rife is definitely something to look into as well. And there are many variations on Rife machines available. Uh, if I was pressed to choose a Rife machine right now, I'd probably opt for the Resonant Light Rife machine, which we'll put linked in the show notes. Back to the amp coil. It delivers various frequency sets or programs in their software on a tablet that accompanies the main machine. So there are journeys for uh, relaxation, energy, sleep, and best of all, perhaps, detox codes for metals, pathogens, and even specific organ support. So it's very multifaceted. Now, I use my amp coil, I'd say, most often for meditation and stress recovery, although sometimes I do use it for specific issues like infections or organ support. As far as using the amp coil in a clinical setting, only one person can use it at a time, but it's uh, very applicable to stacking with other modalities as all you need to do is basically keep the coil on your body while it's running. Plus, it's obviously a powerful tool to have in practice uh, if you work with Lyme patients or have Lyme yourself. And I covered amp coil in detail on episodes 98 and 173 if you want to learn more. Next up is the biocharger. And if you follow me on Instagram, by the way, you should. I'm at Luke Story. If you want to see some of this stuff in action, uh, you've probably seen me post the biocharger because it's just so wild looking. I, I love to share it with people. It always gets a, a strong reaction to say the least. And I had my eye on this thing for years before I finally acquired one. Um, like the majority of devices in this category, they are not cheap, my friends. However, the biocharger is great for a clinical setting in that up to six people can be treated at once in a single session. So this is a, a great addition, in my opinion, to any biohacking center or clinic. Now, the biocharger also uses PEMF or magnetic fields, but I'd say its real power lies in the fact that it utilizes hundreds of various frequency sets that can do anything from brain entrainment, energizing cells, to neutralizing pathogens. I'd say my most frequent use case for the biocharger is basically when I need to recover, when I need energy. So after flying, uh, a bad night's sleep, or a workout, it's a pretty wild device. I mean, it does a lot, and it's one of those things <laughs> that you definitely feel when it's turned on. Now, in addition to the magnetic and frequency fields, it also uses noble gases that radiate cosmic energy around it while it's running. So the biocharger is essentially a combination of what's called a multi-wave oscillator, a Rife machine, and PEMF or Tesla coil. But as with amp coil, I think its real power lies in the frequencies more so than the PEMF element. And I featured the inventor of the biocharger on two prior very in-depth shows, which would be episodes 195 and 36. So check those out to learn more about the biocharger. When it comes to the frequency or energy-based tech, uh, one of the heavy hitters in this space by far is the Rasha, which was featured on episode 309. Now, while the Rasha has a relationship to the other devices like the biocharger in that it uses noble gases, plasma fields, and frequencies, it really exists in a category of its own due to the scalar energy component and its overall sophistication. And while I don't yet own one of these myself, unfortunately, <laughs> I have used it many times and have always had very profound experiences. It works more on the etheric body or metaphysical realm, perhaps even more so than the gross physical. The Rasha essentially upgrades and repairs your DNA. It's way too complex to go into deeply here, but like the harmonic egg I spoke of in part one of this series, one could likely build a small business as a Rasha practitioner alone. It's truly next level and has been used to assist many people in healing numerous conditions that are otherwise very difficult to overcome. So I would definitely recommend uh, looking into the Rasha if you are someone serious about creating a business around these type of technologies. Now, there is one honorable mention in the energy medicine category before we move on. It's known as the Therify, as in phi ratio. The Therify looks wild, man. And uh, to be honest, I can't wait to try it. It's a double conjugate plasma light with an infrared sound bioactive field. <laughs> I told you it was out there. And they've shown very positive case study results for autism, cancer, autoimmune, and so on. By the way, Dr. Har Hari at the Transformational Healing Universe in LA has one, and he just raves about it. He's like, dude, you got to try this. And I believe him. So I've not tried it yet, but I'm definitely on a mission to do so as soon as possible. That's the Therify.
This podcast would not be possible without our friends over at Just Thrive Health. And they've been with the show for quite a while now and one of the sponsors that I feel most grateful and proud to support and present to you. In so doing, I rarely like to clown on competitive products. It's not really my style to say, oh, this brand is the best and the rest of them suck. But I must be honest, uh, as someone who's tried to fix my gut (laughs) in numerous ways, especially with a lot of very expensive probiotics over the years, I have to say that most probiotics I've ever tried were a complete waste of time, energy, and money, with the exception of the Just Thrive probiotic. What makes Just Thrive Probiotics so special is that they're spore-based, and this allows them to survive the treacherous journey into your GI tract where they can make themselves at home and do what they're supposed to do. And for this reason, it's a really unique and incredible product. It's also something kids at just about any age can take. Parents can sprinkle it into the food or drinks of little ones. It can also be baked or fried up to 455 degrees and still retain 100% potency. Isn't that crazy? It's also ideal for pregnant moms to be to support a healthy microbiome for themselves and their babies. You know, newborns get their first big dose of microbes at birth while traveling through the birth canal. It also contains a very special strain of bacteria that can maintain its effectiveness when taken with antibiotics. Now, talk about crazy awesome. You know, that's one of the issues when you're taking antibiotics, if you're in a position to have to do so, is that they're going to ultimately. Uh, cause some dysbiosis to say the least. I'm going to I'm going to put it politely there. So I'm one again who wasted so much money trying to take probiotics during a cycle of antibiotics which is probably futile. However, it's not with Just Thrive spore-based probiotics. So if you want to get your hands on some of these Just Thrive probiotics, here's what you do. Go to justthrivehealth.com/luke. That's justthrivehealth.com/luke. And of course, we've got a discount for you. It's 15%. And the code there is Luke15 at JustThriveHealth.com. We will now examine oxygen therapy and oxygen training. So hyperbaric oxygen or HBOT therapy is the most widely researched and utilized. However, there is also an exciting and emerging application known as oxygen training or EWOT training. And while both are highly therapeutic, they do differ considerably, so we'll uh, do our best to explore them here. We'll kick it off with HBOT. It's been in use since the late 1800s, man, long time, and its many benefits are undisputed, even by the mainstream medical community. Here's a great explanation of this therapy I found on the OxyHealth website. Quote, Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is the medical use of oxygen in a pressurized environment at a level higher than one atmosphere absolute, or ATA. Increased pressure allows for oxygen to dissolve and saturate the blood plasma, independent of hemoglobin slash red blood cells, which yields a broad variety of positive physiological, biochemical, and cellular effects. This non-invasive therapy is the most trusted way to increase oxygen levels to all organs of the body. The typical treatment lasts for 60 to 90 minutes, during which the patient lies down and breathes normally. HBOT has been demonstrated in several clinical studies to enhance the body's innate ability to repair and regenerate. It is used as an adjunct therapy to complement and enhance the healing process in both chronic and acute conditions, end quote. Some of the benefits of HBOT, by the way, include increasing oxygenation of the body's tissues, increase of blood flow and circulation, it boosts white blood cell counts, and reduces pain and swelling. And of this technology, I am a massive fan. I've had a chamber at home for years, and I use it quite often, actually. After I did a SPECT brain scan by Dr. Daniel Amen, which was uh, documented in episode 267, by the way, It was recommended that I undergo 50 or maybe even 100 consecutive sessions to heal and optimize my brain function. It's also a well-known treatment for TBIs and other brain disorders. And when my brain scan was completed, uh, that was the advice that Dr. Amen gave me. However, when I got home and evaluated the cost of doing that many sessions at a clinic, it just made more sense for me to buy a chamber for myself. And I've used my chamber quite regularly for the past two years. And uh, I got to say, it's been a huge game changer for my cognitive function. And it's also great for wound healing, fighting bacterial and fungal infections, and even sexual performance in males, a benefit which was obviously unknown to me, but a welcome side effect after I owned one. 
HBOT chambers can be super pricey, though, depending on the grade of the chamber. So you've got the lower atmospheric pressure of the consumer units, like the one I have, to the higher pressure, or hard chambers, as they're sometimes called, used in medical clinics. But I got to say, despite their hefty price tag, as a business investment, chambers are definitely sound, as they provide so many applications for multiple conditions and provide a vast array of benefits that are widely known. So the chamber I own is made by OxyHealth, and this is a great choice for clinics as it's one of the only consumer models that's also FDA certified for medical use, which is important uh, in terms of liability. Now, I'm happy with my chamber, but the coolest chambers that I've seen lately are made by a company called Henshaw. They are the most versatile of the home units, as they come in different shapes, um, such as the model where you're sitting up rather than lying down. So this makes them easier to get in and out of and likely better for reading or laptop work and definitely a bit less claustrophobic, which can be an issue for some people. I mean, I've tried to throw people in my chamber and quite honestly, many people freak out because once you pressurize it, when it's zipped up, you can't just get out. You have to first safely and slowly depressurize the chamber before you can exit. So I would assume, and this would probably be true for myself, that the Henshaw units wherein you're just seated are probably a little more comfortable and allow people to feel less vulnerable when they're zipped into the chamber. And I got to say, the Henshaw chambers also look a lot cooler than the OxyHealth one that I own. My chamber, uh, in fact, has been nicknamed the MAGA due to its American flag cover. It's pretty weird looking. Now, I love America and all, but it's pretty unsightly in the context of our other home decor, to say the least. In fact, we have ours kind of tucked in a spare bedroom. Additionally, another benefit of the Henshaw chambers is that they can be purchased or rented, which is super cool especially for a home use scenario where one only needs to use it for a short period of time. Lastly, there's another company I like called OxyHelp, and they make super badass medical grade chambers that are pressurized to 2.0 ATA or two atmospheres. And a lot of the deep healing and chronic condition reversal studies are based on this type of higher pressure chamber. And OxyHelp also makes this super badass multi-person chamber that's essentially a small room where up to five people can be treated at once. So this would be a great option for a biohacking center or healing clinic. If you want to learn more about all the chambers we just talked about, we will link to my HBOT webpage in the show notes. And for a deeper understanding of the benefits of hyperbaric chambers, make sure to check out episode 240 with Dr. Scott Schur. After oxygen therapy now, we've got what's known as oxygen training or adaptive contrast. It's also sometimes referred to as EWOT, which stands for exercise with oxygen training. Now, while I'm new to this tech, I do have a device that's really cool called a Live O2, and I was inspired to explore it after having my mind totally blown by Live O2 CEO Mark Squibb back on episode 390. So I highly recommend giving that a listen if what I'm about to say intrigues you. Admittedly, and I have micro shame about this because <laughs> these devices are very expensive, I've not used my Livo 2 as much as I would like to, simply due to the fact, and I have a great excuse, that it's in my garage. It's hooked up to my AI-driven fitness cycle, which is called a Carol bike. But when we moved into our house, uh, temperatures here in Texas hit the 90s and upward for about three months straight. So really making it a habit has been challenging. But I am, and I'm going to commit to this here on air, I'm committed to doing so once the weather chills out a bit. It's just too excruciating to get out there. I've done it a few times and it feels great, but damn, it's hot out there. The Live O2 system works like this. It uses adaptive contrast to switch between an oxygen-rich and oxygen-reduced air environment while you're exercising. And this encourages crazy levels of blood flow and oxygenation. It's freaking wild. Here's a breakdown of how it works from the Live O2 site. Quote, oxygen training uses a combination of oxygen mixtures to increase the natural physiological effects of exercise. The effects of training are a result of the combination of exertion and switchable oxygen mixture. The exertion increases the natural processes that transport oxygen from the lungs to the tissues to increase the amount of oxygen in the tissue. The results are the product of the physiological activation from the exercise and the amount of oxygen delivered to the tissue. The masks enable the user to control what they breathe as they exercise. 
there is no chance of CO2 imbalance because the exertion increases CO2 and activates the vascular system to move oxygen from the lungs to the tissues. LiveO2 enhances the intensity of the respiratory process with adaptive contrast. Switching from maximal exertion with oxygen-reduced air to oxygen-enriched creates a magic moment of simultaneously maximums of blood flow and blood oxygen concentration to create higher oxygen levels that are known possible by any known means, end quote. So to put that into common parlance, you sit on an exercise bike with a mask on and you have an oxygen concentrator that comes with the LiveO2 device. It fills these giant bags. They're sort of like parachutes up with oxygen. And then at different intervals while you're training, you go from reduced to maximum oxygen, hence the name contrast training. And the benefits of oxygen training are almost unbelievable. Uh, it's, it's wild. It's really a whole body reboot. And in the interest of time here, I'll just again direct you to the podcast on which it was explained in greater detail. But definitely something to check out, whether you're a home fitness enthusiast or a clinic owner. Most of us realize how toxic our world has become. So what do we do about it? Uh, we try to avoid toxins and do various detox programs to get rid of whatever we've accumulated. But detox is a word that's often misunderstood. So in a broad sense, it just means to dodge unhealthy substances. And more specifically or proactively detoxifying means you help your cell's natural ability to separate and remove junk from the body. Many popular cleanses and fasts achieve both forms of detoxing. So when you stop eating garbage, for example, this could be considered a mild detox. But you can also encourage a natural detox in the body and that's through a chelating effect of specific superfoods. Moringa, chlorella, and spirulina have shown to miraculously bind to harmful toxins in the body and assist in removing them. This is where the old standby Organifi green juice comes in. It features all three of these amazing superfoods plus eight others in one delicious, and truly it is delicious, easy to mix blend. I've been on the Organifi Green Juice tip for years. Uh, not only does it support detox, as I just outlined, but it's also way more affordable than $10 or even $15 fresh green juices from your local juicery. It travels well and it doesn't spoil like fresh juice. And it goes without saying that Organifi's products are 100% organic and non-GMO, so nothing to retoxify you in your effort to detox. So get your gentle detox and superfood protocol going right now by hitting up Organifi.com and using the code Lifestylist for 15% off anything in their store, including, by the way, their epic gold elixir powder and red juice, which are also super badass. Again, that's Organifi.com, O-R-G-A-N-I-F-I, and your code is Lifestylist. All right, now let's cover a personal favorite, man. This thing is near and dear to my heart. It's a neuroacoustic technology called NuCalm. And for me, man, when it comes to recovery and deep rest and even focus, uh, nothing I've tried even comes close to NuCalm, no joke. NuCalm uses highly sophisticated uh, auditory brain entrainment to gently guide your brain waves into the desired state. And NuCalm is used extensively, for example, by the military, FBI, special ops, uh, pro athletes, and celebrities, because it's got a very unique ability to quickly and reliably facilitate stress recovery and deep relaxation. The way it works is as follows. You buy a subscription to their app and their bio-signaling stickers. Then when you need to chill out or focus or whatever you're going for, you simply place one of the stickers on your inner wrist, throw on some headphones, and you're off to La La Land or to Energy or Focus Land, depending on which program you select. As I said, I'm a huge fanboy for the new calm over here. This has been my go-to for meditation and midday naps for a few years now. In fact, as I wrote the transcript for this recording, I was using their focus track to keep myself on the task at hand. And I got to say, it works better than any focus software I've ever tried, and I've tried many. Now, NuCalm is not only a very useful tool for someone at home, but also one that can be easily stacked with other therapies in a clinical setting. 
I personally use New Calm in my oxygen chamber, for example, and also during Lucia Light journeys. And you can learn more about New Calm on episodes 256 and 318. Highly recommended. Now, while I unfortunately don't own one of these yet myself, I would be remiss not to mention NewFit. NewFit's an electrical stimulation technology that uses a DC current to retrain your nervous system to alleviate pain and facilitate healing. Their flagship device, which I've used many times, is very cool. How it works is this. It sends direct current signals precisely to where you're experiencing pain or muscle movement limitations. So essentially, it re-educates your muscles by tapping into the power of your nervous system. It's widely used by physical therapists and chiropractors, body workers, and so on, but I personally think it could also be applied to a wide variety of healing centers. And I say this because nothing has alleviated bodily pain for me like the newbie. In fact, this thing works so well, I've got it on my vision board. So I hope to manifest one for our home in the very near future. And I'll likely do a podcast on this technology soon as well. So stay tuned for that. Next up in the hit parade is something called the Nano V. This insanely cool device creates something called exclusion zone or easy water in a fine vapor mist that you inhale. Sounds crazy, right? Well, it is. When you inhale the mist, it works to quell inflammation by scavenging free radicals. And the Nano V, like the new Calm, is widely used by pro athletes and high-performance biohacker types like myself. It's also another technology that's easy to stack with other treatments and that it's totally passive. So you just sit there and inhale the easy vapor for about 20 minutes. And I shit you not, I also used the Nano V as I prepped the notes for this podcast. And to learn more about easy water itself, I'd recommend that you check out Dr. Gerald Pollack's episode, which is number 410. And to get the nitty gritty science on the Nano V itself, go back to episode 153. Okay, now let's talk about medical lasers or what is sometimes referred to as cold laser therapy. This is a broad and fascinating topic, so we'll just briefly cover it here in the interest of time, but it is definitely worth mentioning. Because laser therapy has a long and proven history of use, and it's a modality about which I'm continuing to learn all the time. I'm just fascinated by laser therapy. Laser therapy is effective in increasing collagen production, bone repair, uh, reducing edema, increasing lymphatic drainage, and increasing the production of capillary beds. Now, it's also great for rapid pain relief with no known side effects. It's crazy how well it works. It dramatically aids in the healing of sprains and strains, and most effectively, in my experience, for immediate repair of superficial injuries such as wounds. Now, there are dozens of various lasers out there on the scene, so I'll limit this to those with which I have direct experience. I've had a handheld laser made by a company called Power Medic Lasers for a few years, and I consider it one of my most cherished first aid tools. So I've used this thing on cuts, uh, bug bites, tendonitis, and I've even used it for healing my dog Cookie's wounds after she had surgery. I've done that twice, and she healed so fast. It was quite miraculous. I've also been treated with another brand called Epoch Lasers by Dr. Har Hari at the Transformational Healing Universe in LA. And that device is definitely a pro model, incredibly powerful, but uh, way too pricey for most home users. And last year I was treated for some really brutal and mysterious foot pain I had going on by Ellen Day at Elite Laser Austin, who uses a device called the Phoenix Theralase, which I would say is kind of on par with the Epoch laser. It's crazy powerful. I did, I think about 10 sessions and the pain was, I'm trying not to ever exaggerate or fib on this show, but I would say the pain was about 90% gone shortly after. And before I committed to spending that money, uh, I had tried you know, everything I have at home to heal it, yet the pain persisted until I committed to a round of treatments with Ellen. And it's been months uh, since I did that, and I rarely feel the foot pain that I had. Um, and it had become a daily nuisance last year. I mean, I was literally limping around. It was just some strange, unexplainable pain in my toes. Uh, I went to a couple of people, no one could figure out what it was. I did all the things here at the house and there are a lot of things as you might've guessed by now and I couldn't get rid of it. And Ellen Day did it with her fancy Phoenix Theralase. In addition to fixing my foot, I most recently had my ears treated with lasers by Dr. John Laurence with something called a LumaMed laser to help with my tinnitus and hearing loss 
in conjunction with the stem cell ear treatment covered on episode 422. Now, I'm still in that process, so there are no results to report as of yet, uh, but I did also get the Lumamed home unit, and I've been doing that daily with the same exact intention. So we shall see. I'm hopeful uh, based on its solid track record, but I, I can't report results quite yet. So as you can see, I'm a massive fan of lasers, and I'm actually shocked that more people don't know about laser treatments. It's, it's not really part of the biohacking scene, but this technology is just incredible. And if you want to learn a lot more about the laser scene, I'll direct you back to episode 110 with uh, Arnie Grinstead from Power Medic Lasers, where he shared a study they did with their Giga Laser device wherein they reversed dozens of women's infertility. I mean, really incredible technology here and something that I'm a, a huge champion of and uh, that's why I wanted to include it in this episode. And I'm looking forward to more innovations and more accessibility of laser treatment for all of us. Now it's time for a shout out to molecular hydrogen therapy. Now I devoted an entire podcast to the seemingly endless benefits of hydrogen back on episode 112, which was published in 2017. And I've been using hydrogen ever since that day. I just became obsessed. I'm a believer, big on the old H2. In fact, the list of benefits when it comes to hydrogen are so vast, they're almost not believable, but they are, they're legit. The research is there. And in fact, here are a few of the proven benefits. It acts as an antioxidant, preventing organ and cell damage. It will also support and strengthen your natural antioxidant system. It decreases pain, especially in joints, helps speed recovery after exercise, helps to combat diabetes, obesity, and metabolic syndrome, protects DNA against radiation damage, which is, by the way, why it's such a great EMF mitigation tool. It also provides protection against cancer and reduces the side effects of chemotherapy in some patients, calms mild allergic reactions, improves immune system to fight infections and decrease cancer risks, helps every cell and organ in the body function at a higher level of efficiency from eyes to kidneys, brain, heart, sex organs, liver, adrenal glands, ears, lungs, bones, joints, and so on. It also helps decrease arthritis in joints helps in brain healing from traumatic injuries and dementia. And finally, in pregnancy, it can improve fetal brain development and decrease autism and cognitive disorders in children. And that's not some brand or company rattling off those benefits. That's just what you'll find if you look this stuff up online. So hydrogen is the real deal. And that's, in fact, an abbreviated list. I mean, hydrogen is just incredible. In fact, it's widely used in hospitals and even ambulances in Japan. And the Japanese, by the way, lead the charge in the hydrogen realm by creating the best devices and the most current research. As far as how you get hydrogen into your body, you can drink hydrogen water or inhale the hydrogen gas. And in terms of the clinical setting, we'd be talking more about the hydrogen gas. Although there is one epic device I found recently that makes both water and gas. And this could be awesome for a clinical or home setup. I've had a hydrogen inhalation device for years made by a company called Vital Reaction. And while it works very well, in fact, I just did about a 10 minute session before I started this recording to get my brain perked up. It is admittedly extremely expensive. I think it's like they run between five and seven grand. Um, so not really attainable to many people. Um, one other downside to the Vital Reaction unit is that it does not make hydrogen water, so you can only use it as an inhaler. It works, it's great, but you'd have to be well healed to get one. Now, I also sometimes use uh, small portable hydrogen water bottles, or hydrogen generating bottles, rather, and also the hydrogen tablets, but those really wouldn't apply here in a clinical setting. It would get way too expensive, and if you had to make one little glass of hydrogen water at a time with one of the portable units, um, that could get old quickly. Now, the hydrogen device industry, I got to say, is rife with competition, uh, deceptive marketing, and there's much infighting amongst its purveyors. It's kind of like the sauna industry and the PMF industry. I would say these three are just like a war zone of misinformation and false claims from one company to another. And I don't understand why there is so much scarcity mindset in this industry, but for some reason there is. 
And to further that point, there was in fact a company a few years back called Trucy, if I remember right, that was basically some kind of MLM Ponzi scheme scam that sadly sucked in a lot of influencers and customers and cost people a bunch of money. Now, luckily for me, uh, I smelled a rat when they wanted to work with me and I just wasn't into it. My gut just said no uh, because of the way they wanted to arrange the business. And quite a few influencers actually had to come uh, out and renounce them and apologize for people spending their money. So the hydrogen industry is, is kind of shady. But ever since that Trucy thing happened, uh, I've been scouring the scene periodically for an ethical company that actually makes a legit high quality gas water combo machine. Because as I said, I already have the inhaler, but I want a way to make the water as well um, in bulk, right? And to make a high concentration of the water. Well, I finally nailed down a device that uh, looks very promising. In fact, I have one on the way. It's called the Lord's Hydrofix Premium Edition. It's made by a company called Holy Hydrogen. It's fully made in Japan. Now, a lot of these devices claim to be made in Japan, but only some of the parts are and so on. And I think this is the most advanced H2 machine I've seen yet. So after scouring their website for literally a couple hours and just reading every little thing and watching a number of videos on them, I think the uh, Hydrofix is the best machine I've seen so far. And as I said, I've got one on order and I'll soon be reporting my results on the show. And we'll link to this particular device in the show notes at lukestory.com slash 430. And based on the results that I've experienced and all of those benefits that I described earlier, uh, I'm so into hydrogen that, trust me, I'll soon be devoting an entire episode to it. So be on the lookout for that as well. If you were lucky enough to hear episode 389 with Dr. Chris Wrench, you'll understand how important mitochondria is to your energy levels and overall health. So I'm always looking for ways to upgrade my mitochondria and age as slowly as possible through supplements and biohacks. My latest obsession in this category is something called MitoPure, a breakthrough postbiotic that activates your body's natural defense against aging and assists in mitophagy or the clearing out of old bogus mitochondria. It's the first product to offer a precise dose of a compound derived from pomegranate called urolithin A. In fact, MitoPure is the result of over 10 years of research by scientists at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology. You can get your daily dose of 500 milligrams of MitoPure by using the berry powder, which I add to my smoothies, yogurt, and other drinks. And they also have a vanilla protein powder for muscle building and also soft gels for on-the-go convenience. This is a powerful and super easy way to upgrade mitochondrial function, increase cellular energy, and improve muscle strength. If that sounds like a good plan to you, here's what you do to get on a MitoPure subscription. Visit TimelineNutrition.com. And right now, as a special offer for you Lifestylist listeners, you can use the code LUKE10 to get 10% off any 2, 4, or 12-month MitoPure plan at TimelineNutrition.com. Okay, folks, we're almost out of time here, so I'm just going to throw a few more of my favorites out there and very briefly break them down. First, we have what is often referred to as hypnagogic light therapy, and this is a very cool technology. I'm personally a huge fan of a hypnagogic light device called the Lucia light, which some refer to as a psychedelic lamp, and it's, it's not too far off. It's a neurostimulation technology using white light at specific frequencies that resonate with natural brain rhythms. And this makes it possible to control the neuronal activity of the user. So it's basically like a psychedelic journey that requires nothing but maybe a good playlist and your own brain. It's pretty incredible. We use this thing all the time. If you want to learn more about the Lucia light, go check out episode 261. So I think this would be a great addition to a healing center as, again, it can also be stacked with any treatment that includes lying down. In fact, some Lucia practitioners have actually created businesses solely using this technology. So there's people that have Lucia light machines that go around and basically do sessions for people. The Lucia light we have here is called the home portal, and it just fits one head under it, but they also make another one that fits up to four people. And I've used that as well. So it's a really cool way to kind of journey. You can do breath work or perhaps other things 
while under the influence of this light. And then the cool thing about it is once the light stops, you open your eyes and it's all over, uh, which is pretty fascinating. So I definitely get into the Lucia light if you're opening or own this type of business. The BrainTap headsets work in a similar way, and I would say could be used clinically for sure. Uh, they're similarly effective, although much less sophisticated as a result. And they're also priced a couple hundred dollars per unit versus the Lucia, which ranges from, I think, eight to $23,000. So the brain tap could be useful in a clinical setting as well. There's also another light device called the Phoenix Lights, which is similar to the Lucia. And I've tried it a couple of times and found that I got much more effect from Lucia. So I went with that. And I'm sure there are many various brands emerging in this category. So I definitely encourage you to research what's out there as I only mention the ones with which I'm familiar. That said, I do have my eye on another one, Dr. Harhari, that I've talked about so much in these episodes because he's just such a geek for this stuff, uh, recommended a hypnagogic headset device to me recently called the Neurovisor. And I spent a couple hours researching their website and found it to be very intriguing. So I'm definitely going to get one of those ASAP as I like its portability and the fact that it also includes a brain entrainment musical element, much like the brain tap, but unlike the Lucia lights for which you have to provide your own music. And from what I hear from some friends who've tried the Neurovisor, it's incredibly psychedelic and very powerfully nourishes the parasympathetic system and syncs your brain waves beautifully. I'm just a huge fan of technology like this because I love to be able to expand and alter consciousness at will. And I'm always on the hunt for the latest and greatest. And I got to say, the Neurovisor seems to fit the bill based on my research. And if I love it when I get one as much as I think I will, I'll likely devote a future podcast to it. There's one more extremely innovative and wildly powerful treatment I'll cover here called Think Training created by Dr. Lana Morrow. Think was the focus, by the way, of episode 376. And since that time, I've done around probably 15 sessions with Dr. Lana. Lucky for me, she moved to Austin shortly after that episode. So I've been stoked to be able to work with her. And I think I got to say, like, am, am I exaggerating here? I hope not. But when it comes to focus, uh, ADD, ADHD, and mental performance, it's uh, by far the most effective tool I've ever applied. And I've tried a lot of stuff. And like a few of the things we've talked about here, I would say adding a think training protocol to a facility could easily be a business in and of itself, and one that is both immensely and ethically profitable and useful to many people in need. Think's been used extensively to improve neurological issues like Parkinson's and much more. So I'm a big fan and definitely something worth checking out, whether you be an individual that wants to improve your mental function or you have some of the issues that I mentioned or someone who is considering starting a business or even adding it. I would get in touch with Dr. Lana Morrow. She's easy to find and easy to reach and I'm sure she'll be willing to help you. All right, you guys, we're almost done. Thanks for hanging in there. But before I dip, I'm going to briefly cover three more categories. They are red light therapy, infrared saunas, and cold immersion via ice baths and cryotherapy. Now, these are pretty well known. So in my estimation, don't really require much um, explanation. I've also done shows, of course, on all of these. But they are some of my beloved therapies and ones that I use every damn day at home. And thus, uh, could be a great addition to some health clinics or centers, depending on your setup. And uh, I've devoted many podcasts to each of them as well for those of you that want to learn more. When it comes to Red Light, my top brand is Juve, and uh, they're one of our longtime sponsors. They've been loyal to me. I've been loyal to them. Uh, their devices are very reliable, effective, and adaptable due to the variety of configurations that they made available. And in fact, I use mine every single morning. I did it this morning, standing on my vibe plate. As far as saunas go, my favorite saunas are Clearlight for the wood box style infrared sauna. They're super low EMF and they just work perfectly. Uh, we've had ours for a few years and we love it. It's got much lower EMF levels than some of their competitors like Sunlighten. So that was one of the things that first drew me to Clearlight. Got to be low EMF because some saunas uh, really radiate quite a bit of EMF, which is of course less than ideal if you're using a sauna to heal. 
Now for a one person sauna and red light therapy combo, I am obsessed with my sauna space Faraday sauna. I use this thing every morning as well, actually right after my vibe plate juve stretching session. It's hot as hell in my sauna space and it's made with incandescent red bulbs for maximum penetration. And the tent style sauna is also totally blocked from EMF by its Faraday tent design. So this is super cool for home use, but perhaps a little less ideal for a clinic since only one person can get into it at a time. But it's also much faster. Heats up fast and you sweat your ass off, I think, faster than some of the box saunas, which can take a little time to heat up and are a bit more gently therapeutic. Now, my cold plunge or ice bath of choice, and one that would make a perfect addition, in my opinion, to a business, is called a Morosco Forge. I tested the Morosco for EMF. It's got zero. In fact, it has uh, a lot of electrons flowing into it or DC current, so it's very grounding, stays cold, and it actually makes ice, which I really like. There's a huge difference between getting in freezing water and freezing water with ice. I just like the ice. Plus, the Morosco cleans itself with ozone. It's just awesome. And during the summer here in, in uh, Texas, I get in that thing, I mean, I'm not even kidding, at least twice, if not three or four times a day. It's just like the best therapy ever. Uh, and P.S., if you want an ice bath at home, uh, but you're on a budget, there's another great company called the Ice Barrel that makes a less expensive version that you fill with ice yourself. And it's also nice and compact and much more portable than some of the big tanks. Um, there are quite a few ice bath products on the market now, but I've been so happy with my Forge that I've not really found it necessary to research or shop around for others. Um, I see them pop up every couple of years and you know, I'll kind of look at their website and go, well, I don't know, mine works great. I'm just going to stick with what I know works and that's the Morosco. But again, for someone who doesn't want to spend a few thousand dollars, the ice barrel could give you some cold therapy uh, at home. I don't know if the ice barrel would be as conducive to a clinic, but it kind of depends on what your setup is. And of course, another form of cold therapy popular in many clinics is cryotherapy. So this uses cold air rather than water. But to be honest, I much prefer cold water to cold air as it just provides me with more noticeable benefits. But listen, as a business model, Cryo is definitely legit, it helps people, and is likely a lot less messy than a water-based cold therapy. And um, many businesses are set up just around the fact that they have cryo. There's like cryo centers, right? So cold therapy, however you can do it, is great for you and likely great to include in any business model in this category. Okay, my fellow health fanatics, that wraps up episode 430 of the Lifestylist Podcast. Now, remember to go back and check out part one of this two-part series, number 428, if you missed it. I know some of you might have just jumped into this, but 428 will really create some context and offer many more solutions that we didn't have time to cover here today. And for you biohacking entrepreneurs and clinicians out there, don't forget to offer your clients lots of clean water as hydration is critical for all of the therapies mentioned here today. If it was me, I'd probably get an AquaTrue countertop system or perhaps an Ophora water whole house system. Or if you're based in California, Austin, or Miami, you could get some pristine spring water delivered from my friends over at Alive Water. Uh, they just opened Miami, by the way. Woohoo! I know there's going to be some stoked people out there. So don't forget about the hydration and water. And while you're at it, let's make sure to include air purification. Uh, my personal favorite is made by a company called Air Doctor, which is what we have and use here at home. So, you know, when we're opening a clinic or creating any type of a healing space, I think the air, water, lighting, EMF, the whole environment is really important. So I wanted to just throw that one little tidbit here in the end. And I'm guessing that for some of you, this episode left you with link overload. So please remember, we've created links, show notes, and written transcripts, which you'll find at lukestory.com slash 430. And like I said earlier, if you want to see all this stuff in action, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Luke Story, where I constantly post all my crazy experiments with the latest and greatest in the healing tech space. All right, all that being said, I am out of here. I'll be back Tuesday with episode 431, how to transform your drinking water into a healing liquid crystalline elixir with analemma. Until then, stay well and remember to love yourself because that is the most powerful medicine this world has to offer. 